I think that we have a tendency to do things for our students as adults in their lives. We think that we know best and we don't want them to fail. We want to see them succeed and we want to help foster that success all the time. And we forget sometimes that eventually the training wheels have to come off. Agency is a difficult concept for students to develop, but a crucial step in becoming an adult. Agency is a student's ability to make choices about their learning, to direct where they're going and where they're heading. And I think that that's critical because there's a greater curiosity, there's a greater drive for students that I've seen in, in wanting to accomplish because suddenly it's their, it's their goal rather than a teacher given goal. In our online system, I don't tell them you have to do X, Y, and Z. I tell them this is our end goal. How do you want to get there? One of the ways that we get there is through the student learning cycle. So it's giving them this process that they can manipulate and move through at their own pace in order to achieve those goals that they're setting. Students who are taking online courses also benefit from the learning cycle because at the beginning of the year we work really hard to make a plan with the pacing so that they are successful. The learning cycle is a five-step process that helps to develop agency. The first step of the learning cycle is setting a goal. That means we take a look at what is our end product and we evaluate where they currently are and where they'd like to be by the end of the unit they create a SMART goal, so something that's specific and measurable and attainable, realistic and time-bound. So it's really important for me to set a goal um, for the day because it helps me know what I need to finish in the day and it helps me um, stay on track. Well, the second step is making a plan. It's nice to have a goal, but if you don't have a means of achieving that goal, you don't get very far. So we talk about the specific steps they're going to take, and the actions they're going to take in class, what they may need to do at home, what resources that they're going to need from me or from others. What's your steps? What are you going to do today? Um, I'm going to look more. It's really important for them to decide ahead of time so that they know what direction they're going throughout the class period. It helps them stay focused as well. The third step is the learning and this is what the bulk of the class period is spent on. This is the important piece. This is kind of where the magic happens. This is where they're executing that plan and either they're discovering new things or they're generating new questions and this is where I see them start to get really excited about their goal. And how are you doing on your plan today? Um, so in a self-directed classroom, my role as a teacher really changes. Instead of standing up and providing them with the resources that I think they might need, I have a really clear picture of what they do need and I become a resource provider and a mentor and an excellent coach for helping them to achieve their goals. I went from students who were really frustrated that I wasn't telling them what to do and when to do it to students who are now asking, hey, can I have more time on this? Can I have less time here? They're really getting that aspect of directing their own learning now, and they're learning more as a result of it. They're setting more goals than I ever would have given them, and they're reaching those goals, they're achieving them. Step four is to show. Sometimes it can just be a verbal conversation with the teacher. Sometimes it's by submitting the task or assignment that they completed that day. And so their ability to show that they accomplished a task, that they completed their goal, is essential to the process. So the last part is the reflecting piece. And I think this is one of the most important pieces because it's where they get to define and articulate and explore how their plan worked and if they met their goal. Oh, it helps to talk with a friend because then I can get like positive feedback on it and so that I can know like what I'm doing wrong and what I can do better. The really most important part I think that's crucial for online students is that reflection piece because our time together either face to face or teleconferencing is really limited and so it's crucial that students go back and look at their feedback from their tests or quizzes or written work and know what they need help with when they meet with me so that we can keep moving them forward. What's your plan today? I, need to ask I think agency is probably one of the most important things we can teach our students for them to learn that they can control their path, their time, their place is something that will take them well beyond even college in their ability to say this is what I need to do next, this is my plan and to engage those plans and be able to learn on their own is, is priceless.